Hi, this is Andrew with Mock 2 Drop, and I want to go over some of the study strategies that we think are going to best prepare you for your CFA Level 1 exam. So there's a few things we're going to cover here. Um, you know, what's the ideal time to get started? What should you focus on? You may be a little overwhelmed with the amount of materials in the CFA curriculum and questioning whether you should even use a CFA curriculum or go for a prep provider. Um, so we're going to go over what we think is the best way to use the CFA material in your, in your studying. We're also going to cover how we think you should use prep providers, whether you should use a prep provider exclusively or incorporate their materials with the CFA curriculum. And at the end of the day, you're preparing for a six hour exam. So doing practice problems and mock exams are going to be a critical part of your study strategy. So we're going to go over this in a little more detail later on. And lastly, we're going to talk about mock two drop, what it's all about, and how it can help you prepare for your CFA level one exam. So how to get started. Well, starting early not only ensures that you get through all the material, but that you give yourself time to focus attention on the readings or concepts that you found to be a little more difficult than the others. You don't want to come into this exam having skimmed over some of the concepts or readings because you couldn't quite figure it out or understand them. Give yourself some time during or after your studying to give a little more focus to these more difficult areas. And with that being said, you know, make a note of some difficult concepts or readings that you're, when you're going through the materials. Staying organized like this can help fine-tune your weaker areas um, as you're going through them. Now, this doesn't mean to lose focus on the areas that you found easy. You know, every part of the curriculum is important, so what you want to do is kind of find a good balance there. So how do you use the CFA Institute materials? Well, we recommend that you do incorporate the CFA curriculum in your study strategy, even if you do plan to use a prep provider. At the very least, you can use the CFA curriculum as a reference or just attempt some of the other chapter problems. And we think the end of the chapter problems can add a lot of value to your study strategy. Not only are there ample questions at the end of each reading, but the solutions can provide a valuable review. Now, as far as the readings, using the CFA curriculum can take some time to get through. Um, if you do have the time, you don't find it difficult um, reading through the CFA materials, we'll give you everything you need uh, for your exam. However, many candidates might find it easier to go through a prep provider, which we will discuss next. So prep providers. Um, so for this section, we aren't going to go into specifics as to which provider you should go with. Um, that's really going to depend on your specific situation. This is going to be more of a broad level overview on deciding on a prep provider. Uh, we would recommend using a prep provider or even multiple prep providers if it's feasible for you to do so. And the reason for that is because um, you know they could be a good complement to the CFA curriculum. This isn't saying that you can't use a CFA curriculum by itself or that you can't pass the exam using the CFA materials, or rather using the prep provider's materials or practice problems can offer you a different perspective on the concepts of readings that you may not be getting from the CFA curriculum alone. Uh, they may even help your understanding of a particular concept better than the CFA materials, whether it's through your study notes, videos, or practice problems. And when it comes to doing all this, um, you know, going through all this material, you really want an efficient way to do it, um, which is why prep providers can help. And not to mention that it's good to get a variety of practice problems from different sources, and prep providers are a good way to get that. So how do you choose a prep provider? Well, at the end of the day, your goal in choosing a prep provider should be to get some additional value aside from what you can get from the CFA curriculum. Keep in mind, though, that prep providers are a tool for helping you pass your exam. Uh, your effort and what you put into it is going to make you know, the biggest difference. Therefore, when choosing a prep provider, choose one that's a good fit for you and not necessarily one that worked for someone else. Look for um, you know, the strengths of that prep provider um, and how they can add value to your study strategy, whether that's through videos to help your understanding of a concept or additional practice problems for mock exams. Okay, practice, practice, practice. So how much is enough? How many practice problems should you be doing? 1,000, 2,000, 5,000? Well, it really depends. Let's say we have two candidates, for example. We have one that does 380 practice problems, reviews all the solutions, and they pass the exam. While another candidate uh, does 2,000 practice problems, reviews all the solutions, and fails the exam. What does this tell us? Did the candidate who practiced 380 practice problems have better quality questions? Were they smarter than the other candidate? Or did they just get lucky? The point we think is that doing practice problems should involve more than just the number of practice problems you do, but rather the quality of those problems, your review of those problems, and most importantly, your understanding of the question or concept. Uh, for example, are you simply memorizing a particular problem and moving on to the next? 
or do you actually understand the problem so that if it's asked in a different way, you'll be able to figure it out? And we think the latter is more important. So at the end of the day, if you come across a practice problem and you understand it completely, you need for it to be rewritten in a different way, then you're probably okay to move on to the next one. Practice, 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 then practice some more. Uh, so when you feel like you've done enough practice problems, well, you probably need to keep doing more. Now, don't drive yourself mad, but you should feel somewhat exhausted or even overwhelmed by how much practice you really need to do for this exam. You know, with that being said, when it comes to the CFA Level 1 exam, you're most likely never going to feel fully ready for it, no matter how much studying you do or how many practice problems you do. Um, however, don't let that disappoint you, as it's a perfectly normal feeling leading up to the exam. If you feel like you've done so much, but you still don't feel ready for the exam, um, you know, most candidates probably feel the same way. Now, do you give yourself some time, you know, right before the exam to just relax, you know, at least a day or two, just don't even think about the exam, don't do any studying if you can. Uh, you really want to give your brain a chance to, to reset before the big day. All right, Mach 2 Drop. So who are we? So Mach 2 Drop is a prep provider offering mock exams for CFA candidates. We focus exclusively on mock exams so that we can provide you the best content that we can. And what can we offer you? Well, first and foremost, we offer a free full-length mock exam. All you have to do is come to our website, sign up with an email address, username, and password. It's that easy. In addition to that, if you're looking for some more practice, we also offer 10 full-length mock exams. All of our mock exams have a three-limit timer to simulate the actual conditions of the real exam. Not only do you get your overall score at the end, but it also breaks your score down by topic. And we also offer uh, detailed solutions for you to review at the end. All right, so this is the end of the video. I've uh, provided links at the bottom of this video for the uh, free mock exam and to our website. And thank you for watching.